Okay, so what I'm going to do now on my uh, my iMac G5 uh, desktop, I just ordered a Airport Extreme card. This is Airport Extreme uh, A1026, and that's what's going to go into this iMac. So I've got first thing to do is unplug all of your accessories. Then we're, I'm going to lay it down on this uh, soft towel here and take off the back of this um, computer to get to where the, I, the airport screen needs to be installed. Okay, so first off, have to uh, lay, lay the iMac down and you'll see if you lift the hinge here a little bit, there's a little screw right there and that is like a little latch that holds the back of this back of the iMac on so I'm gonna unscrew that and then open it up okay so simply using this uh, Phillips head screwdriver I'm gonna go right here and loosen this Okay, then it just lifts up pretty easy. There's some little catches here that if you lift up and kind of back a little bit, it comes off. Pretty simple. So I'll set that aside. Then we have your, the inside of the iMac here. You can see the RAM there, CD. And uh, some of the other accessories here, CD drive, hard drive. But the uh, Airport Extreme goes right here. You can see the CMOS or uh, battery there, or PRAM. Um, and here's the little thing that plugs in for the antenna on the uh, Airport Extreme. So we'll go to the next step here. Okay, now we're going to move forward with uh, installing the Airport Extreme card, wireless card, and you'll see that it has a little hole here. For that's for the antenna. It's in that little hole there. So I'm just going to plug that in. There we go. Then it slides in with the uh, serial number sticker facing up. So you. See shove it in there and it just kind of clicks in and there we are so now we're going to close it up start it up and see if it works okay here we are going to put the uh, back of the iMac back on on the top here there's some slots on the top here that fit into these uh, pieces so you have to kind of slant it up like that and then bring it down paying attention to these two pieces that sit in on either side so that it seats properly there we go then we get your Phillips screwdriver again and the screw is um, idiot proof here it doesn't come out so you just have to screw it back in to latch the bottom of the iMac back on. There we go. Now it's back on. Now we'll fire it up and see if it works. Okay, so I've got the uh, uh, iMac up and running again. Um, and I see up here that there is a new uh, Wi-Fi uh, icon set up up here in the top uh, taskbar. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to turn airport on see if it finds anything. It's on and yes it has network so I'm going to connect to one and punch in the password. It's 
see. There we go. And we have Wi-Fi. So there you go. I uh, hope this helps you with your work on your iMac.